Hi guys, it's Mary, and it is Saturday night, a little bit after 7. I'm sorry about that. We've been uh, out and about today. We finally had some time with our friends. We decided we could, we could, we could deal with any possible repercussions, and we figured that the, uh, the likelihood of there being any was so low that it was absolutely worth taking the chance, and it was wonderful to have some time with friends. So I am running the tiniest bit late. I apologize for that. Let's be sure that I'm actually posting on the correct spot over here. So give me one half of a second. All right, I see some folks joining, so I must be in the right place, and I must be transmittalating. That's the only possible thing I can think, is that I am, in fact, transmittalating. Hi, Diane. Hi, Karen. Hi, Fran. Hi, Nancy. Appreciate y'all joining tonight. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you, Karen. Happy Fourth to you as well. Hi, Pam. And Faith and Rosie and Jerry and Kathy, appreciate y'all joining. So the card I have today is a fun fold that you've seen me do before. Um, I even used a Memories and More card pack when I did it before, but it's so easy and so fun. I thought we would do it again. Um, but this time I'm going to use uh, Beautiful World and World of Beauty products, mostly the wonderful Memories and More card pack. Um, I cannot tell you how much I love these card packs. The This one and the Flowers for Every Season card pack are really great this time. Hey, Holly. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Mary. Hi, Daryl. Appreciate you joining. You fine breathe and amaze us. You're fine. Breathe. Oh, breathe and amaze us. Okay, good. Hey, Donna. Hi, Carol. Appreciate you guys joining me. All right, so... Part of why I wanted to do this is because it is so fast and it is so easy. We can get through it. You can see a cute card. It's very masculine if you need a masculine card. And then I'm going to kind of put the stuff away and I'm going to walk you through my pre-order. Hey, Lenny. Good to see you too. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Susan. Appreciate you joining me and Brooke and Belinda and Jean and Sue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. If you remember seeing this card in the past... This is what I am calling an interlocking gate card. Yeah, I don't know if that's what it's really called, but I like it. I think it works good. And you can see, really, if you break it down into pieces, this is a simple gate card with two opposing smaller panels. And I didn't even have to do any stamping until I got to the inside because I used the Memories and More card pack. A lot of the cards have sentiments on them. And I'm not going to go through those because I know you've seen them by now, but I'm just going to say this. If you don't have the Memories and More card packs for both World of Beauty and Flowers for Every Season, absolutely get it, okay? You'll love them. And they've got wonderful, wonderful things in. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Of course, we're going to use the Beautiful World. We are not using the uh, Maps dies that goes with it, but you should absolutely have those in your stash. Okay, so I've got some cards, and all of this will be on the blog tomorrow, so you don't need to worry about writing down any card measurements. We're going to start with a piece of early espresso for our card base. <clears throat> What's the rule about making gate cards? Between the two scores, you need to have four and a quarter inches if you want it to fit in a medium card, so or in a medium envelope. So we are going to score first along the long side at two and one eighth inches, and then again at six and three eighths inches. And uh, that's it. That's the extent of the scores right there. Done and done. Now, one place I do want you to take a minute when you're doing a gate card is to really be sure that you, when you do your fold, excuse me, when you do your fold that you get the get it good and straight. So make sure that it's straight along the top edges, okay? Sometimes a score will get a little bit crookedy, and I want you to take the time to get the fold straight, okay? It's cardstock, people. Make it do what you want it to do. And then give it a little burnish, and bing, bada, boom, we've made a gate card. How easy is that, right? Hey, Barbara. Hi, Patricia. Appreciate you guys joining. All right, and so now... I've done some matting, and I am using Cinnamon Cider and then the um, World of Good Specialty DSP. I love this combination. <laughs> the way this early espresso with the Cinnamon Cider looks, and then the addition of the Misty Moonlight. Man, I just love that. I am a horse person. You know I'm a horse person, and for some reason, 
this is reading to me as a equestrian themed card, even though it's <laughs> obviously more adventure themed. The, the, this color combination right here um, speaks to me of harness and saddles and bridles and things like that. So, so I really love it. So we're just going to adhere these two pieces of the World of Goods Specialty DSP to cinnamon cider and then we're going to put that on the front of the card okay that is pretty easy so i'm going to use liquid glue hi carol hi barbara hi lisa appreciate you joining barbara how are you today i hope y'all are having a good fourth of july maybe you got together with some friends um our friends and us we decided we thought we did the risk reward the risk benefit, the cost benefit analysis, did all those things and we decided that the risk was very low and to be quite honest, the reward was very high. We had dinner, we sat in the living room, kind of socially distanced. We did our best to keep as far apart from each other as we could um, and we just talked and Wayne and I were saying on the way home that we really had just missed sitting around the table, although it was the living room in this case, so that we could be further apart. But we had really missed just sitting around talking to friends, and those friends in particular. So it was it was a really nice evening. We got to see our friends' parents who have sort of incorporate, helped us incorporate into their family and treat us as their own, which is lovely. All right, so now I'm just once again using more liquid glue. And I did kind of make an effort to cut this so that you can see that the pattern repeats, right? And I, I kind of liked how that looked. If you did a, um, if you did a non-repeating pattern, that would also work as well. But I liked, I liked how that looked when I got it going. All right, so there you go. So the gate is essentially complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and I have two pieces of the Memories and More card pack. One is just some Misty Moonlight with some white scripty on it. And then one is Misty Moonlight with a really cool sentiment. So this could be for a retirement. This could be for graduation. This could be for a new job. It could be for almost anything. So I, I, I like how that, I like that sentiment. So we're just going to mat this on cinnamon cider. Are you seeing a trend? Hey, Kathy. Hi, Debbie. Yes, it is hot. It is hot, 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 hot. There's no doubt. Halfway through dinner, fortunately, we had not eaten out under the trees <laughs> because it came a downpour. I'm talking gully washer. All right. So really, all this card is, is a couple of scores and folds, some gluing, and done right? Easy peasy. I like it. And you know, if you don't have the Memories and More card pack, first of all, you should get it. And second of all, you could, in fact, just use a second piece of DSP on either one of these. You could just use DSP with another, another design. And then you could maybe stamp um, your sentiment on a label and put it on this card. Okay, so here's the trickiest trick part. If there is a tricky part, this is it and it's a gluing trick, okay? If you will look again at the sample, then you'll notice that the top panel is adhered to the left gate and the bottom panel is adhered to the right gate, okay? You gotta be sure that you only adhere each panel to one gate. Otherwise, it's more like a closed forever gate card, not an interlocking gate card, just saying. All right, and this script is actually got an up and the down, so, you know, kind of look for that. Because sure, shoot, and as soon as you glue that on and see that you have glued it upside down, even though maybe nobody will notice because it's kind of an indistinct script, if you're like me, it's going to drive you bonkers. Okay, so I'm going to show you a trick. This is how I've done this. I've got it lined up, and I'm truly just eyeballing it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I'm gonna leave it like it was. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, and a little brain fart. Okay, so I've got it lined up where I want it, like that. And to glue the bottom panel, I'm gonna hold, and I'm just going to pick up where I want the glue. 
Now, you don't have to get real intense with this glue. Remember, it's very good glue. A little dab will do you. And when you put that back down and give it a nice little burnish, it's gonna squish that glue just as much as you need. Don't use a bunch or you're gonna end up with glue on the other panel and you are not gonna like that, okay? Just saying. Okay, now I am actually going to turn this. Carol, you can have some of our rain. It seems like it's raining every other day. And every time it rains, I have to refill my slug chug in my, in my garden and it's starting to annoy me. Okay, so remember this side I want this panel because this is the top and I want it adhered to the left gate. Again, I'm gonna hold the non-gluing side, pick up the panel and give it a little glue. Not a lot, you can see how much I've got. Not very much, right? Remember, liquid glue is the bomb diggity. The bomb diggity. Okay, and you know, y'all, we've just made an interlocking gate card. Bing bada boom. Now, I got really, really technical with the decorations. Are you ready? This is, this is hard. Take notes, you better take notes. All right, I've got some of the star designer elements in this beautiful copper. Are you ready? See what I did here? Reach for the stars, stars. And then I'm just gonna stick one right there. And that's it. Now, not to be, not to, I don't want to fib. I really, really had to keep myself from putting a nice double loop linen thread bow there, which I still think would be awesome. But I kind of wanted this to be a little more subdued, a little quieter, a little more masculine, and so I managed to hold off. But I had to have a, I had to have a star. I mean, come on, man. I had to have a star. You see, I say brain fart all the time, including at school. Oh, inappropriate. Well, you know what probably is? <laughs> And I'm sorry if anyone is offended. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> not really. Uh, I'm not sorry. Oh, you know what I didn't do was cut a piece of Whisper White. Hang on, I'll do that right now. I'm going to do that right now, okay? And I am cutting it four inches by five and a quarter. I will tell you that, you know, if you guys have paid attention at all, you would know that normally my mats are four inches by five and a quarter but when I do a gate card for some reason I like the margin to be a little bit smaller around the mat and so I just increase my mat and my inner liner sizes by an eighth I don't know why I do it you certainly don't have to do it but I do okay this is where we're headed on the inside I'm just gonna stamp the sentiment in misty moonlight and then I'm going to add both the, di the two different worlds kind of you know the whole world awaits yeah that was what I was thinking and whether it's true or not I don't know but that's what I was thinking so let's first do our misty moonlight nobody is offended okay well I'm glad your students weren't either because that way they didn't all go home everybody is so quick to be offended these days I'm telling you I am telling you Everybody wants to be offended. I figure if you look long enough, you can find something to be offended over, I mean, anything. You can find something offensive about almost anything if you really look at it. All right, so I'm going to use my finely calibrated Mark 1 eyeball. and try to make that as straight as I can. Hold it a little beat to be sure I have a good image, and I did. Woohoo! Yay! Yay, yes! And then I'm going to stamp my globes in cinnamon cider. And I'm just going to kind of put them off of the edge down here. Okay. And then I'll put the other globe in the top left corner. And I'm just telling you right straight up front, it was completely arbitrary. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to let that dry for just a second. And I'm going to get a drink because my throat is getting tickly. Ah, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be a great wedding card. Especially if they're going to, you know, go somewhere really cool on their honeymoon. All right, so I've got my Whisper White envelope. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to again stamp the two globes. 
and I really kind of want, I, I stamped one envelope and I had, uh, I had uneven globes and it, it just bugged me no end. So I had to do a second one. So if that's going to bother you, here's my tip. Find one of the latitude lines and use it as your guide. So I'm just putting that very first one right up roughly against the bottom edge of the envelope like so. And then when I do the other side, I will do about the same. Okay. So that way, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but I can tell, oh shoot fire. I can tell you that what I did on the first go was way not accurate, <laughs> way not accurate. And I got a little smudge there. I'm going to, I'm going to do it again because that just bugs me. Does that bug anybody besides me? Is that, am I the only one that that would just bug like crazy if I left it like that? It would really bug me like crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it again. I'm going to line up that bottom latitude. Pretty sure that's the latitude. Isn't that how it is? The ladder? I think that's how it is. And then we'll do the other globe on the other side. Line up that bottom one again. There we go right? It would bug me. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it like that. Well, I mean, I could leave it like that for now, but I'd have to recreate it once the video ended. So I figured what the heck, might as well just dit, just dit and get it done, get it done. And then I'm going to put some of this, um, this is really cool. It's got like the astrology doohickeys in there. Okay. That's a technical term. Astrology doohickey. I'm practically an astrophysicist. Yep. Anytime you can say astrology doohickey, then it must be because I'm an expert. I'm a SME, subject matter expert. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of the DSP there and give this a quick fussy cut. And we are about two cardstock gluings away from being done. And then, now, fair warning, I do not have this catalog memorized yet, so I'm going to have to have the catalog off screen and kind of cheat a little bit because I don't have everything memorized and I don't know everything that goes in every suite. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, right? Okay, let's go ahead and mat up our inner liner on another piece of cinnamon cider. How much do y'all love cinnamon cider? I love cinnamon cider. So pretty. Actually, I really, actually, really love all of these in colors. Okay. And we'll just put that there. And then I'm going to put one more star. Because I like them. I'm going to put it right there. It's so sweet. Love it. And then I'm going to put this on the inside of my card. And it's all going to be done. That is how quick it is. It is going to be done. Done, done, done. I know. I was glad to have my... Uh, I was really glad that I had Amy on, on... She was text messaging while we were doing our pre-order. And she told me that she was able to add the... Um, oosh. Oosh, I got a little too excited there. A little too carried away with that liquid glue. I'll have to fix that in a second. She told me that she had added an 8-pack to her expedited order, and it let her. So I was happy about that, which is good. Unfortunately, my big order of catalogs is still sitting not shipped yet. So, so for y'all customers who are hanging out waiting for me to send you a catalog, I will do that post-haste when I get them, but it's going to be next week. Okay, and there you go. How easy is this? You know what's so cool about this particular fold is you are going to be the only one that knows how easy this was, right? Your uninitiated recipient, and by uninitiated I mean the person who doesn't make cards, is going to open this and be like, this is so cool. And they're going to do this a lot. They're going to do this like this. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. So it's an awesome fun fold that is super, super easy. Okay. I'm going to quit talking about this fun fold now. And I'm going to tidy up just a little. 
okay, because there's a lot to show you and I need to have as much room as possible, okay? And I don't want to get ink on my stuff. Now, just so you know, I actually didn't get back to the house until about 6.30. So in that time, I fed the horses, changed my clothes, divided up my pre-order stuff, which I had not done, oh my goodness, and kind of sorted it, kind of, sort of, sorted it. That was what I was trying to say, is kind of, sort of, sorted it. Yay, Jean. Yes, you are in time. We are about to the big review and i'm going to tell you also up front i ordered pretty much all the papers and embellishments because i like to be able to show y'all as we get ready to go into um, shares which we will have i'll probably put those up in a couple of weeks and i want to, i like to be able to show the share products to you but i did not i know gas are you holding your breath did not buy every single thing in the catalog i didn't so if one thing you've been thinking you've heard of and you're really looking forward to it isn't here, I'll apologize up front. I didn't order everything. Okay, here we go. This is the new catalog. Okay, and we're done. See you next week. No, I'm kidding. All right, I cannot show you the inside, but I can show you the front. And do you see some poinsettias and a sleigh and some deer and some trees and some pretty newsprint paper? Okay, this is a fun catalog. I'm enjoying looking through it. I'm enjoying look. I'm really excited because I'm actually going to see a lot of these things for reals the first time with you tonight. Okay, so let me put this aside. Um, actually, I'm not going to put it aside. I'm going to put it off screen so I can cheat a little bit. Okay? Okay. And if you inadvertently see it, just look the other way. All right? Okay. Now, I'm going to just take them off the stack. The This is our first one. This is maybe one of my favorites in the new catalog. I'm going to turn to that page so that I use all the right words, okay? Because <clears throat> you know how important it is to use all the right words. But I don't have this tag yet so hang here we go let's see okay here is this is this is actually more than one suite this is the plaid tidings suite okay not this this is not it okay this is the plaid tidings suite it has the celebration tidings stamp set <clears throat> look at those these are all stitched dies and they are big you guys i'm telling you these are some big frames can you see how large those are so like that biggest one right there that is six and a quarter long which means this is perfect for memories and more cards and envelopes right <clears throat> perfect for it and then the smallest one is two and three quarters and there's one two three four five and they they go down they, they're graduated down and then you've got some leaves and you can see that this actually covers Merry Christmas, Halloween, fall, um, and some general just for you, always grateful. So this is kind of fun, and it has plaid tidings. Let's take a look at this. <clears throat> so, with the understanding that this is covering several seasons, and the fireworks are beginning outside. You can see we've got some real pretty plaids going on here. Ooh, <clears throat> that's pretty. And the, um, so the coordinating colors here, <clears throat> we've got black, Cajun craze, cherry cobbler, cinnamon cider, mango melody, melon mambo, misty moonlight, pretty peacock, pumpkin pie, rich raspberry, seaside spray, shaded spruce, and whisper white. I'm thinking, you know, pretty much the entire color spectrum we've got here. Isn't that fun? And I, if I really, really, I should have done this ahead of time. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but you'll just have to bear with me. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at this one with the pretty peacock and the shaded spruce together. That's a great color. I love that plaid right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, yes, get it now. Oh, wow. That, the 70s called, they want their plaid back. That looks like a pair of pants I had in high school, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Actually, so is that one, jeez. Whoosh, don't know what I was thinking. Why would I have worn pants that look like that? I don't even know. Ooh, that's pretty. Wouldn't that be a pretty one on a, an autumn card with some leaves? <clears throat> I've got a cute bundle that you're going to like with some stitched leaves here coming up pretty quick. Oh, that's the same one. Sorry. All right. Yeah, this is nice. Everybody loves plaid, and Stampin' Up! has listened and made an entire pack out of plaid. Whew, that's pretty. Ooh. I wouldn't have thought of those colors together like that, but it's nice. Very nice. Okay, and here we go down to the end. Oh, that's a good one. There's a nice Christmas. Oh, look at that. Crumb. It looks like gray granite. Although gray granite wasn't in the list, but that's what it looks like to me. Pretty. Okay, so that's a pretty set. So this is the plaid tidings suite. And it also comes with embroidered ribbon. It's 3 8 inch wide. And it's in kind of a neutrally beige color. So that's pretty. Okay, now the trick is going to be finding a place to put this as I use it so that I don't end up with a, a mess. I'm going to have a mess, okay? The, let's just straight up admit it. I'm going to have a mess. Okay, here comes one of my favorite sweets. This is a punch sweet, which is cool. So for all of you who do not have a... Uh, die cutting machine. I'm hoping you'll be getting one when our new one comes out. <clears throat> this is the Gilded Autumn Suite, and you can see it's got a three pack of punches. These are minis. It's a maple leaf, an acorn, and an oak leaf, and that coordinates with the beautiful autumn photopolymer stamp set. My heart is grateful for you, and it's got these leaves that these punch out, and the acorns, and also the oak leaf is punched out with this die punch. All right, we'll put those aside. Now, there are two fun papers, and this one I am so excited. <clears throat> this is the Brushed Metallic 12 by 12 cardstock. Yes. Got this, ooh. Oh my goodness. Can you guys even see the brushing in that? Can you see that? Oh, that's so awesome. Yes, it's the easy button, Alicia. It is one, five, five, one, two, three. You get the whole suite. That's what I did. I just got the whole stinking suite. Look at this cardstock. It's got bronze, copper, and gold. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me tell you why this is different. We have the foil sheets but this has distinct brushing on it. So, oh, mmm, 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 mm. Yes, one of my <laughs> instantaneous favorite right there. Not gonna, uh, instantaneous favorite. All right, now you know what, my talking. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then the paper that goes with this suite is the Gilded Autumn Specialty DSP. And you can see this is a Cajun Craze, Copper Foil, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Gold Foil, Mint Macaron, and Very Vanilla. And you can see some of the sheets have gold and, and or copper embossing, foil embossing. Can you see how shiny that is and pretty? And then the other side is a nice leaves image. Oh, that one's beautiful. This one's copper and gold on the same sheet. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm love this paper y'all do we not do the best paper ever i mean seriously look at that mm -mm -mm. i'm gonna say that a lot i'm sorry i apologize up front for the mm -mm -mm because i really am liking this a lot i love the mix of the of the of the foils the copper and the gold together is really pretty and that's nice be nice for a good masculine card and then here's the last one, I think. Get Nope, not quite. Mint macaron and copper. And then on the flip side. Oh, houndstooth. 
see. Is it weird that I know that? That's houndstooth. And that's uh, early espresso. Oh, look at this one. Look at the pumpkins and gourds and squashes and stuff. In cage. Oh, man, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at that neutral. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Favorite sweet so far. Because also, look what else comes. Yeah. The paper we have is amazing. Yes, I did that this time, Alicia. I finally realized I was ordering everything in the suite. And I'm like, duh. Use the easy button. Hello. All right. <clears throat> this is, oh, this is cool. So this is a combo pack. It's called the Basket Weave and Metallic Ribbon Combo Pack. So this one is Copper Metallic Ribbon. And then the other one is Mint Macaron. And it is, um, it is, sorry, it's a half inch wide and it is literally a basket weave. Can you see that? Oh, let me, hang on. I'm trying to, there, can you see it? Yeah. And then this is the other one. And this is one eighth inch wide. Oh, goodness. And then the final touch, in case it wasn't already cute enough, acorn trinkets. Look. Oh, how cute are those? And they've got a little place so you could run some linen thread through there and tie it on. Mm. I'm in love. This is my favorite suite right here. Done. I'm, I'm done. Good night. I have to play with this new suite. Okay, so that is the Gilded Autumn Suite. Now, just so you know, when I was stacking these up next to my chair, I was stacking them as I came to them. So it's not in order of how much I love them or like them. But in this case, that turned out to be very nice because, oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, how many of you out there like Halloween Kathy Fennel? Anybody? I think a lot of folks like Halloween. It's not my favoritest of the holidays because we, I would love it much more if we lived in a neighborhood where kids went trick or treating, if that's even still a thing. But we don't, and so it passes pretty much un, unannounced for us. But this, let me get my to my page, okay? Just so I'm working. This is called the Magic in the Night Suite. All right? And it is based on the Halloween, Hallow's Night Magic Bundle, which starts with the Hallow's Night Magic Cling Stamp Set. So it's a red rubber stamp. Look at this. I love that. Do you see that? That is a flower with cobwebs. Flowers and cobwebs. We've got spiders. We've got some really cool bats. Can you see the bats? Aren't those awesome? I love those. Now look at the paper. Well, first off, you can see it right here. Let's talk about the elephant in the room is black glitter paper. And this is the same kind of awesome glitter paper. I know you, I know you, that's exactly right. Hey, Donna loves Halloween too, awesome. So this is gonna be your suite. Write this number down, 155-122. That is the easy button for the magic in this night suite. And I might be having a special bundle going that'll be a Halloween for you people who like Halloween. All right, black glimmer paper. I love glimmer paper. I don't know why. I guess I love glitter more than I thought I did. But I really love glitter that stays on the paper, and that is what our new glimmer paper does. Okay, look. Do you see the paper? This is the Magic in This in this Night Designer Series paper. Basic black, Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers in the stamp set. And I wanted to show you this dies. I think this is the one that has the second. No. See, I believe that this die is going to cut this stamped image very nicely gonna really fit right on here so you'll be able to cut that right out you can cut out some bats and you can cut out this stamped bat image right here and you're gonna be able to cut out the large spider oh this one's gonna be fun even for people who aren't huge fans of the Halloween holiday then I think it's gonna be fun but let's let's dive into this paper shall we see what we got. 
I'm excited. Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, and did I say Cherry Cobbler? No, ma'am. You don't, does that mean you don't like Halloween, Daryl? All right, so I'm gonna just take that off. So here we go. This is, this is spookily pretty paper, okay? It's, you can tell it was pretty and then they made it scary. So it's scary and pretty. Oh, that's cool with the bats. Have y'all ever been in Austin and seen the bats come out from under the bridge? Is that the First Street Bridge, I think? I'm not sure which bridge. Fifth Street. That's very, very cool. If you ever get a chance to see that, you should. But that's what that reminds me of. And then we've got some, ooh, kind of, uh, hmm. Those are roses and flowers in, with the black Pretty Peacock, Blackberry Bliss, and Cajun Craze. And then the flip side of that paper, ooh, that's pretty. That's kind of wild. Wild, it's kind of wild like that. Let's see, black flowers are interesting. Big bat dies also cut out the bats on the paper. Ooh, how cool is that? That's a good tip. Thank you. I guess we'll get to that paper in just a second. Okay, so there's that same medallion paper in Cajun Craze. And on the other side, oh, look at that. Right, oh. See, this bat is the same bat as is in the stamp set. And it's already on the DSP in white. So yes, these will cut a, both of these out. How cool is that? Uh, that I love it when dies cut DSP images because it just is so fast and easy. Very nice. Ooh, look at this. These are line-drawn flowers in black on Cajun Craze. And then the flip side is just a nice stripe. And then we have a pretty peacock. Looks like kind of a damask design. Flip side, more flowers in black and white. Ooh, now spiders in Blackberry Bliss. Yeah! Oh, got you. Yeah, not your thing. I get it. I understand. Ah, uh, that's pretty. But admit that the... And that, look at that. That is Argyle in black. Gotta love it. This looks like some dude's business pants. Not business pants. His socks that he wears with his suit. That's what I think that looks like. Okay. Now look here at some of the embellishments that go with. You see... Can you see these iridescent pearls? Ah. Uh, Better take that out so you can actually see it without any uh, without any glare. There, look. You see those? Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, and then this is called this is called metallic mesh ribbon, and I I wasn't gonna open ribbons because that is just it will take me forever to do if I do all of them because we're gonna be here forever, but I really, really kinda of need to see what this looks like. I really, really need to see what this looks like. Because it's quite wide. Also, it's in a child-proof ribbon container. Child-proof ribbon container. Here we go, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I can do this. I am a trained card maker, I can do this. Okay, here we go. There's. Well, apparently it's just, it's still in a childproof container. Darn it. Where are you, End? Okay, the first part is, it's like a game. You get ribbon and a toy. There we go. Whoop, I found it. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, I love that. I am not entirely sure what one will do with this, but I like it. What a fun bow. All right. Ooh, actually, I've just decided what to do with it because look. Look at the bow. Oh, my gosh. I love it. That is so cool. <laughs> Mary proof. It is Mary proof. It was. Oh, look at that. Look at that bow. You guys, even... Okay, okay, I know this is supposed to be cobwebby, but that would just be gorgeous on a gift, even at Christmas time. 
because it looks it's enough meshy that you could especially if you put it with like blue wrapping paper oh oh that mm. how about a wreath this would be a beautiful bow on a wreath even after over and above putting it on a card oh my goodness Okay, I do love the paper and the embellishments and the ribbon on this. There's no doubt about that. Okay, now I got to get rid of some stuff because I've got too much stuff on the plate here because I can't find anything. Let's get this aside and the dies to go with and set it aside because I am afraid we are far from done, far. Okay, switching gears, we go from Halloween to winter Halloween to winter and this is the snowflake splendor suite and it is gorgeous it has a snowflake wishes and the die set that is called so many snowflakes dies so it's got a detailed and a less detailed that stamps out these images uh, snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. Our friendship is one of a kind. Coldest months of the year. My heart is warm because you're near. Here's a Happy Hanukkah. So you've got the blues and Happy Hanukkah in here. All right. And then uh, more glimmer paper in balmy blue. Are you kidding me right now? Balmy blue glimmer paper. Yum. Love that. Love it. Love it. All right, and then we have, of course, some DSP, Snowflake Splendor, Balmy Blue Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pool Party, and Whisper White. Catching the theme there, kind of a blue thing going on. Silver and blue for Christmas, awesome. And yes, oh my God, look. Good point, excellent. Your, your comment rolled off, and I'm sorry, but whoever said that is exactly right. How lovely would this ribbon be on this in this suite? Oh, my goodness. Halloween and Christmas comes together, which seems a little odd, but it's okay. All right. All right, I'm going to try to move along a little better, okay? I don't want this to be a three-hour video. Ooh, pretty. <clears throat> like that. And when you guys see this, remember it is designed to have those irregularities in that in that print, okay? Like that one. This one's going to read as a very neutral. <clears throat> oh, and that's pretty too. Wow. You know, I knew when I saw the PDF of the catalog that this was going to be really pretty paper, but I didn't Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this. I didn't realize exactly how pretty it was going to be. I really didn't. <clears throat> Ooh, I like that with the pe the little bits of the purple in there. That's nice. This is a great set. For people who like non-traditional Christmas colors, this is going to be a wonderful suite. And here's the final. Nice. Very nice, really pretty stuff. <laughs> three hours works for you. <laughs> well, I don't even know if they'll let me go three hours on a Facebook Live. Okay, and then we have, <clears throat> it has an embossing folder with really nice snowflakes all over it. We've got some pretty um, ribbon called Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. And this is um, it's a quarter inch wide and it is kind of shimmery, shiny. I like it. And then we have some blue adhesive back gems. So these are very similar in shape to the gilded gems in the um, Ornate Garden Suite in the annual catalog. But these are in blues. So very nice to go with this suite. Glimmer paper. Oh, goodness gracious. Balmy blue glimmer paper. We need glimmer paper in all the colors, people. All the colors all the colors. I gotta move my cards out of the way or they're gonna be squashed. They're gonna be squashed and I don't want them to be squashed. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Another sweet coming up. Y'all like poinsettias? I think you do based on previous years when we've had a poinsettia sweet. I believe you have liked it. 
and this is in fact called Poinsettia Place, anchored by the Poinsettia Petals Bundle. Beautiful images there. This is a photopolymer set, so you'll be able to do lots of stamping and over stamping. And then look at the dies. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? <sighs> Couldn't be some pretty, pretty, pretties in the future. And when you get done making your die cut poinsettias, you can use these. See that? Pearl beads as flower centers. What? Beautiful. We've got some uh, real red sheer ribbon. And then of course we, we have two kinds of paper in this suite. The first is plush poinsettia specialty paper. This is flocked, you guys. So it's vellum with, it's clear vellum with white flocked designs on it. And there are actually three designs. I'm not going to be able to get this open. Yeah, the, 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 oh my goodness, the, the DSP is gorgeous, Sue. You will love it. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? That looks like kind of a filigree pattern. This is all flocked, so it's very textural. And then, and it's on vellum, which is nice with the texture because you'll be able to easily adhere, put your adhere, put your glue dots. I'm going to say glue dots because you see, you can actually see my finger through there, but I think glue dots behind these poinsettias on this one would work good. And then this one has um, holly and berries. Nice. Love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, and then let's see. Let's take a look, quick look at the Poinsettia Place DSP. And this one is Bumblebee Garden Green Old Olive Real Red Soft Suede and Whisper White, which are interesting colors for Christmas, yeah? But I like it. Look, these have uh, bumblebee berries on this pattern. All right, let's get through here. Oh, I got two pieces. Boy, this is such pretty heavy paper. And I don't mean heavy as in heavy, but look at, oh, really? Oh, yes. Pine cones, you're speaking my language now. Pine cones. Oh, look at this. Look at this one. Can you see this, you guys? Oh, my gosh. Poinsettias and pine cones all in one paper. Oh, this is gorgeous. And then some just leaves. Some beautiful berries. Beautiful. See how I made that into 17 syllables? Beautiful. And then on the, oh, a little bit of wood green. Can't ever have too much of that. There are white poinsettias. There's a stamp for it this year as well. Hmm. I might have missed something. Stamp for, yeah, I don't know what you're, what we meant. Here's some green poinsettias. Nice. Ah, oh, here we go. Now you're speaking Mary's language. Pine cones, pine cones. Oh, that's all pine boughs. Can you see that? Nice. And some holly. Got to have holly at Christmas, I'm pretty certain. And some nice filigree, basic neutral, and uh, I'm guessing old olive. Oof, whoosh. Beautiful paper. Y'all, the paper in this catalog is wonderful. The paper in this catalog is wonderful. All right, so that is the Poinsettia Place Suite. Now, you know what? I just put that over my glasses, which means later I won't be able to find them. I'll be like, where are my glasses? They were just here. All right. Let's see what we got now. Okay. Got to find it in my cat on my log. So that I don't say something wrong. I mean it may be wrong, but it won't be completely wrong. You know what I'm saying? Did that make sense? Okay, this is the wonder of the season suite. Okay, and it's cool. It actually has two bundles. 
that go with it. I, and let's see, where's Cherish the Season? Hang on just a second. I've got that other bundle, just a minute. Hang on, don't leave, don't leave. You know it's gonna be the last one I pull up. It isn't the last one I pull up. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it got to, where it got to. Oh wait, it's all right here. It might be right here, let me see. Wishes and wonder, that's it. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the wrong name. That was the thing. Looking for the wrong name. Here we go. All right. So this is a two bundle suite. One of them is the Wishes and Wonder bundle with a deer. No antelope playing, but a deer. And a cute little tag. Okay. And a die that cuts out the sleigh. And the deer and the holly, and several that are just uh, generic. You can cut out this North Pole Express. So that's the first one. And then you have the Cherish the Season bundle, which has these lovely embossing and cutting bells. And so, stamp for Hanukkah, yes indeed, in the, uh, in the snowflake set. Yep. These emboss, so think how pretty this would be on brushed foil cardstock. Just saying, brushed metallic cardstock. Oh my goodness. So these are all going to cut and emboss. And then you have May You Cherish the Wonder of the Season now and throughout the year. And a pine bow. Woo! So those are the two anchor bundles. We've got a 6x6 DSP pack. And a 12x12 DSP pack in this suite. So we're going to go a little quicker here. Let's see how we've got this. Okay, it looks like everything is one after the other. So you can see this is in um, basic black, cherry cobbler, garden green, real red, shaded spruce, and whisper white. Everything is two-sided. So there's 12 designs, each two-sided. That's going to be very nice. So you get 48 sheets in the pack. Nice. I love this. Pine boughs. Yay. Plaid. Nice. How many times have I said nice now? Sorry. It's become my verbal pause, apparently. You guys know what a verbal pause is? Um. Um. <clears throat> Alrighty. And then we have a Memories and More envelopes uh wonder of the season memories and more cards and envelopes can you see that those are it looks like real red foil and uh there is also some new real red and garden green foil sheets available we have the wonderful gems these are uh, adhesive and then you've got the other dsp in the suite which is 12 by 12 and it's a specialty DSP, so it has foil embossing on it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and on the back is script. This is uh, something about a Santa Claus story. Not really sure what it is, but it'll be, you know, you can read it when you get it. All right. Oh, somebody miss, is missing their ice skates. That's funny. <laughs> and then you have it in uh, real red foil reindeer board games <laughs> this one's gonna be funny to read and oh look at that recipes holiday fruitcake how many of you love holiday fruitcake ah. maybe maybe not Santa's hot chocolate whole milk sugar chopped bittersweet chocolate and whipped cream and then something in French yeah I don't know what maybe something in German so for all of y'all, oh, cheese fondue, mmm, 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 and another in real red and white. Oh, that's pretty. See that script? Isn't that pretty? More recipes. I wonder if any of these recipes would actually work. Hmm. 
I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to spend a little time just reading these because they're fun. And then gold. Okay, so each of these sheets has a gold embossed side in with some design or another and then a black and white side. So lots and lots of design alternatives here. And then you've got a Memories and More card pack, and I am not gonna go through all that right now because it's already eight o'clock and we don't have quite time to do that, but I am sure you will see a sample from me with that very soon. Just saying, because I think that's gonna be cool. And I have developed a newfound love of memories and more card packs. Okay, so that is all of the sweets I've got. So let's run through just a few bundles. Here we have the banner year bundle. It comes with a banner punch. It's a two punch um, punch, two punch punch, two punch punch. And let's see, can you see? what those are. So those are to do the ends of banners, which is convenient since it goes with banner year. And this covers Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, um, hearts, so Valentine's. Nice. Nice little bundle right there. Everything Essential. I really like this one. I think this one's a lot of fun. Each of these images is stamped with this Essential Tag Punch which is nice, very basic rectangle with just some um, corners punched out. So you got Halloween, Valentine's, Christmas, and Valentine's. Okay, so cool. All right, let's see what else. Here's some more bundles. All right, we have the Autumn Greetings Bundle. I'm gonna try the recipe and let you know. Yes, I'm certain I will do that. And then here is the um, Autumn Essentials Dies. This large one is going to cut out this image here. And you've got some detailed pumpkins. I love it when there's detailed pumpkins. And I love um, bow or sprigs of, it's not sprigs, it's wheat, wheat grasses. I love them and there's three of them in here. I like that. And some edgelets to create uh, decorative edges on your cards. So obviously this is, you know, for autumn. You can tell because of the name. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. How many of you like owls? Anybody like owls? Owls, anyone? Owls? Here's the Have a Hoot bundle. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh my goodness. All that owl I want for Christmas is you. Have a hoot on Halloween. Look at, Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Count Owlcula. Ha, ha, ha. And then some Valentine owls. Oh no, not Valentines. These are owls under mistletoe. <laughs> That's so cute. And then a little owl getting scared by a spider. <laughs> oh, I love it. And look at the dyes that go with. So you've got some tags. You've got a spider web. <laughs> oh, I love this set. I'm so glad I got this one. Oh my gosh. I may have to make this one really cute. Who's got a mask? I don't know. Oh, these are just so cute. Oh my goodness. And that's even got Christmas in it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Love of leaves. You guys, how many of you love leaves? I love leaves. Leaves are great. The love of leaves is awesome. But look, are you ready? Hold your breath. Wah. Wah. Stitched leaves. Are you kidding me right now? And I cannot wait to see what this will do to a card front. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you're in my life. Your friendship is something I know I can count on. Great set. Great set. This will be a year-round set. I love it. I love it. All right. You know, this is really good. It's always good to kind of see things in real life, right? Because you get a whole better appreciation for them. <gasps> Peace and joy. How many of you like sentiment dies? I love sentiment dies. I'm a huge fan of sentiment dies. And after the Label Me Bold set that was in the outgoing catalog, 
I love these kinds of stamped images where you can um, stamp them and then do a quick fussy cut and arrange them on your on your card front. I love that. But look, Bright, Peace, and Joy are stamped out. And what this is, this is very cool. So it's hard to tell, but Joy, this is like a background stamp of Joy. And then you have the detailed. So you can do Joy in like white and the detailed Joy in green or red or whatever color and put adhere it to that and you get an automatic shadow. How cool. And it is also the same, same kind of a format for Peace and bright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now there's more dies in here because this has as nine and I'm only seeing six. So let's see what else is in here. Oh no no no. See look. Here we go. This is this has the this is two dies to create the background. So you can actually it looks to me like you can actually layer it three oh oh Mm -mm -mm. Gonna have to work on this one really soon. It's gonna be Christmas in July. Sorry, people. I can't help it very much. Have to use it. Have to use it. I have to. I just have to. <gasps> okay. How many of you know what my very favorite thing is? Okay, I'll tell you. It's decorating envelopes. I was so bummed when the envelope dot, uh, liner dies went away, but look what we have now. Are you ready? <gasps> Ornamental envelopes with, oh, I am speechless. I have nothing to say. These are to decorate your envelopes specifically, and you can also use them to decorate cards. Like, oh, I don't know, this beautiful stamped image of um, Christmas ornaments with the dies that go with, and decorative cutouts decorative oh yeah love it okay how about the sweetest time stamp set bundle <sighs> okay I'm sorry I have to take a breath uh, this has candles and candy canes and some very cute sentiments but look at the dies this is a border die that creates candy canes and peppermint candies. And then another border die that creates leaves and boughs. Oh my goodness. And you can see, mm, I can't wait to cut that. These are, this is, that's a set of dies that you're going to want to cut out and see everything that it does in addition to looking at the samples in the catalog. Okay, this one is fun. It's a little treat box and it covers all sorts of occasions up to and including weddings. How about favors on the table? Thank you for coming with a wedding ring that you can cut out and you can cut out the little box, attach the wedding ring to it, put a little candy or something in there and say, yes, good to go. We've got Christmas, we've got for you, Halloween, birthday, little treat for someone sweet. This is a nice little set. I know everybody enjoys these and I'm looking forward to, uh, to putting these little boxes together. I think they're gonna be fun. All right, we're getting there, people. All right, how about autumn goodness? Wheat, pumpkins, flowers, and a wheelbarrow, and fence, picket fence, wheelbarrow die cuts, and then you can die cut um, each of the stamped images as well, including the wheel. The wheel on the wheelbarrow, which goes round and round, I have to say. Okay. And I'm kind of hurrying now, sorry guys, but... We are running out of time, and although this embossing folder doesn't technically go with this bundle, it just seems to fit. Look at that embossing folder. This is an embossing folder. Nice. Pine trees embossed. Can't wait. And then, of course, we have In the Pines with detailed pine trees, stamped pine trees to cut the images. These are two steps, so it's photopolymer, stamp the outline, stamp the fill, and you get 
a grove of three, grove of two. Nice. You know me in pines, right? You got to know me in pines at this point. Surely you know me in pines. Now I probably should have shown you this with the Halloween set. Here we go. Bring them on camera. Bring what on camera? I don't know what to bring on camera. Okay, and then here is the cobweb embossing folder. Nice. I mean, if even if you don't love Halloween, how fun is that? And these are sequins. These are sequins that go with some other stamp set that I can't remember. I think this one actually goes with corners. If y'all like sequins, here's some sequins. Ready? You've got red, green, gold, and orange. So you've got sequins for everything, hence the name. I'm guessing you've got sequins for everything. All right. I need to find where the... I don't. You'll find it. Okay, so now let's just go through some um, a la carte stamps. Here is Lots to Celebrate. Does this look familiar to you? Yep. It goes with the Jar Punch in the annual catalog and with the Jar Dome, uh, the little Jar Dome doohickeys. That's a technical term. You're not allowed to use it unless you're a demonstrator. Okay. For the jar set, yes, Kathy, absolutely. This is a sweet little one, Flight of Fancy. It's got a little lady who flies around. She's either a Cupid, a very scary witch, or a Christmas fairy. I'm pretty sure that's a Christmas fairy. Pretty sure. Cute. Like it. Shaker cards, absolutely shaker cards. Festive Post. This one goes with the very new uh, postage punch. Remember it? One of my favorite new things in the catalog. This punch right here coordinates with this. So if you don't have this and the um, posted for you stamp set, you should get it. Get that bundle right now and you'll be all ready for festive post when the catalog goes live. Okay, now for those of you who are on my team who recently asked I was I asked we had a little contest what is Mary's favorite things my favorite new thing that wasn't part of a bundle is this I love this stamp set here it is festive corners I love this stamp set I don't know why but I do and I just love how those sentiments go around these corners so we've got trick-or-treat and happy Halloween we've got most wonderful time of the year we've got love you lots and some really cool Vertical, I like vertical sentiments. Isn't that fun? Love it. And this is lights. These are Christmas lights. And I just think this is great. So, yes, you guys, this is the stamp set that I was talking about in my What is Mary's Favorite Things. Now, here is a very simple little stamp set called Life is Beautiful. You can decorate it, decorate this tree with leaves or Kind of a spring bouquet look, B-O-K-E-H, not bouquet, and some, um, oh, it looks like uh, snowflakes, and you've got a birdhouse and some very simple sentiments, so this is nice. This is one of the million dollars uh, earner stamp sets. Anybody like coffee? Yeah, I like coffee too. So you have the press-on set, and look at this. I love this. This is so clever. This is the steam, but it's got a sentiment in it. Hope your day is full of perks. All you need is confidence and lots of coffee and a cup of thanks. Fun. Fun set. Okay, just a couple more things, and then I promise we're just about done. So these um, are adhesive-backed snowflakes. Can you see them? I like those. Those are fun. And then this is she. How many of you bought in the last catalog the um, uh, the felt kit? The all about felt, everything felt, felt around the world. I can't remember which one. That was a great kit. But if you like to play with felt, we now have felt sheets. Festive felt sheet combo pack. 
and this is exactly what it's what it says it is it's felt that you can cut out you get red looks like early espresso whisper white and i'm thinking mint macaron how fun would that be to add some texture to your i'm gonna play with this and we're gonna see how it die cuts see how that die cuts okay a couple more things and then i promise i'm done how many times have i said that now okay there is a suite called hang on called trimming the town and i did not get the bundle yet i will but i bought some of the embellishments and paper for the very reason that i told you this is all the trimmings embellishments and you can see you've got dots and stars in bumblebee red and white there is very pretty um Old Olive and Poppy Parade Ribbon with uh, green metallic edging, which I love. Okay. And then you've got this fun. Hang on a minute. I think I would use the adhesive sheets. Yeah, that probably would be a really good idea. I, I don't know. I, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to playing with them to see... I really love that felt kit, which you wouldn't know based on the fact that I can't remember its name, but I did love the cards that it made. So look at these fun papers. Isn't that fun? I mean, you could just um, really have a good time making card fronts with that. Yeah, VW bus. And then that's just got, you know, duty hoodie. Duty hoodie. I don't know what that would be. Okay, we've got some houses. Oh, you're welcome, Daryl. I hope it's not too long and drawn out and boring. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see, what are these colors? I think that's Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Old Olive, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Whisper White. So Misty Moonlight, love it. And some folks um, skating, no. Oh yeah, hugging. You know, as soon as I saw this, I started to fit. My brain said, "I'd like to teach the world to sing." <laughs> no, and then some straps and some Christmas trees. Thank you, Kathy. You're sweet. Ooh, there's some. Uh, that looks like Minnie Mouse's bow on her head. And some wrists. Thank you, Daryl. You're sweet. Oh, oh, this is fun. I love this. You know what I love about these is you can cut these little words out. Just fussy cut these little words out and put them right on your card front. Or don't just cut it and make it the whole card front. Hello, yeah. And some more houses, bigger, in bigger proportion. And here is the flip side. Nice misty moonlight. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. That is called Trimming the Town DSP. Okay. And then, let's see what this one is. This is another one that I haven't bought the bundle yet. But I did get the... Um, shoot. Where is it? Hang on a second, you guys. I'm sorry. There's a cute new set, new suite called Heartwarming Hugs, and it has some it has some coffee themes, and you'll see them soon. But I wanted to be able to show you some beautiful snowflakes, some glittery snowflake embellishments, some mossy meadow striped ribbon. Hey, Beth Ann, glad you could join. Hello, hi, Connie. Happy 4th to you as well. And some real red braided trim. So very similar to our uh, current braided trim, like this. Only in real red, which is nice. And a mini, ready for the new mini cut and embossing machine with 
Uh, this is called Wrapped in Texture, and you can see you get some little dotly dots and some dashes. So this is like the SOS embossing folder. So these are two small embossing folders, uh, similar in size to the Greenery Forever folders. Okay, so this is designed for the mini cutter when it comes out. But it works just fine in the large one and in whatever you currently have. All right, and then finally, the last thing I have to share with you, I believe. No, wait. There's something else down here. What is this? Oh, yes, I told you. Oh, Ooh. oh no. Oh, no. Stop. Okay. Uh, this is the red and green foil, which I think you can figure out what it looks like. It's red and it's green foil. Okay. Oh no, Connie. I tell you, there's a lot that gets lost these days. The, I think the, the postal services of all the varieties of postal services are overwhelmed. I think everybody is killing Amazon Prime and they're all using the post office. Okay, and then this is the final thing. Sorry, this is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper in Mossy Meadow Pear Pizzazz Real Red and Whisper White. And we'll take a quick look through here, and then we'll be done. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm sorry. All right, and so you got some dots. So this is kind of a geometric kind of a paper. What's on the back of this? Stripes. This is real red again. Pear pizzazz. And Mossy Meadow. Look at that. I like the plaid. Glad you got your mini there, Fran. All right. See that? It is nice to see the, the different papers up close, I think. It's really hard for me to tell what something looks like in the catalog, so it's good to feel it. I can tell you that this is a heavier paper. Some, some of the papers are thinner and some of the papers are thicker, like always. But I have to say that all of the ones I've handled tonight have felt like our thicker um, DSP, not the thin stuff like you might make a, like would be wrapping paper. We've had some of those in the past. And then here is the final one. Nice stripes. I like that stripe. That's really cool. And some hound's tooth in pear pizzazz and mossy meadow. All right. So guys, that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I have got some organizing to do, don't I? Mm-hmm. I do. And some labels to make to put in my shelves, my shelves. And so I do appreciate you guys spending such a long time. My goodness, you guys, you spent an hour and 20 minutes with me tonight, and I really, really appreciate that. So I hope to be back with you on Thursday at one o'clock on my YouTube channel. Don't know what we'll do, but it'll be something. So y'all have a safe rest of your day. Um, give your animals a hug if they're scared of the fireworks, and we will see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much, guys, for for hanging with me. Bye-bye.